You tell the truth. It's all we can do. Okay, this is about where I was the first time. So anything after this, I have no idea what I'm doing. Would Nathan Prescott please come to the front office? Thank Rachel Amber. She looks so hopeful and pretty. I wonder what happened to her. Uh, Arcadia Bay, date missing Monday, April 22nd, 2013. 19 years old, 5'5", five, five, weight 110 pounds, hair. Pretty sure blonde has an E on it, but you know, that's fine too. Thank you. Whatever. I know the dorms are over here. That's about what the hell. I better read Warren's text before he blows my phone up. Oh. Study for a physics test, don't ignore his message. I'm asking it. In class drive new soon. Hello, sorry running late in San Day. I'm eating a lot, looking cool. You'll see my camera will be ready to see you shortly. I hope so. Okay, All right. I better get to my dorm and grab that flash drive. That's how I knew to go to the dorm. Go to the dormitories. Yeah, as I said, anything after this now, I have no idea what's going on, so. Come on, Logan, bring it, bro. And probably see me fail a lot. Yeah. I need to go to my room and return Warren's flash drive. Oh, God. It's Victoria. Oh look, it's Max Caulfield, the selfie hoe of Blackwell. The selfie hoe? What a lame gimmick. Even Mark, Mr. Jefferson, falls for your wave hipster bullshit. You look like a dyke, shut the up. The Daguerrean process, sir. You could barely even say that. I guess you got your meds filled. <laughs> Since you know all the answers, I guess you have to find another way into the dorm. We ain't Good moving. thing there's a um Oh wait. Hold that pose. Wait. Oh. So original. Don't worry, Max. I'll put a vintage filter on it right before I post it all over social medias. Now, why don't you go fuck your selfie? Oh, I mean, I, I could just I'll get your bony ass out of my way. Just just walk. Okay, now where exactly is the sprinkler valve? I, I mean, I could just walk around him. But... I don't want to mess with that ladder and hurt poor Samuel. I just want to get Victoria the hell out of the way. Hey, uh, sir? There goes sir? Samuel da Vinci to paint the window. I'm guessing it'd be in here. I'm guessing it would look something like this. What the hell? Nice. Are you kidding? Look at this! Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Dude. Yeah, water on my cashmere. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Yeah, bitch. I bet you move now. You still won't move. She looks like a pissed off wet cat. Yeah, and she's Michelle still Pat. stylish. Capiche? How would I do that? Oh, the football. Hey, uh, sir? Nice, bro. Hey, uh, sir. Alright, we're not playing this game. Dude. What am I gonna do with it? Oh, I see. Okay, let's see if this works. You don't see me, Samuel. What the hell? Are you kidding? Look at this. Chill, Victoria. It's just water. Oh, this is on my uh, cashmere. cashmere. Oh. Do you know how much this fucking outfit costs? You look great. I can't even chill on the steps. Okay, okay, okay. There you go, Samuel. No way! No 
Yes. Oh, Samuel, is sorry. Wet, wet paint is not good for hair. Nope. Sorry. Get the hell away from me, weirdo. Whoa. Hold on, hold on. We'll get some towels. We'll be right back. So move your ass before I dry. It worked. Don't mess with Max, bitches. There it is. What's up, Victoria? Uh, hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? I'm gonna make fun of you. Don't. Don't say a word, Max. Oh, wait. Hold that pose. And no filter needed before I post this. Hey, uh... Okay. Now, please move. I've had a messed up day and I'm going to my room. You do that? I know where you live. So does Nathan. Whoa. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Now I have to get to my room, then see Warren. Whoa, I don't like that. You're gonna have Nathan come and try and assassinate me in here. Uh, yeah. hey, Victoria. What do you want, Max? Comfort. I am sorry. That's an awesome cashmere coat. It was. No. But there'll be another. Just well, get the hell out of my way. seem to know how to pick the right outfits. I do have some talent. Mr. Jefferson told me. I've seen your pictures. You have a great eye. Richard Avedon-esque. He's one of my heroes. Thanks, Max. I get the hell out of my way. I hope those sluts get me a towel before they hang a sign on me. You deserve a better shot. Sorry about blocking you and and the go fuck yourselfie. Oh, that was mean, but pretty funny. Just one of those days, you know. I know exactly. Okay, what quit you trying mean, to Victoria. conversate with her. Leave me alone. I'm trying to go to my dorm. Yeah. All right, well. Victoria probably played me. I should have played her. Better get to my room before I find They're just never happy. One minute, I can get assassinated. The next minute, my self-confidence is shot. What do you want? Hurry, Courtney! I'm just gonna assume it's this one. Oh, not the uh, slightly cracked door. Okay, now it's gonna take me a hundred years to. Oh, here we go. Two nineteen. Home I need the flash drive, so it's probably over cocoon. here. Sticky note. Looks like Dana left me. Hey, girl, I borrowed your drive so I can watch some flicks while I study. If you need it back, just track me down in my room. D. What a great name. Great. Now I have to go get the flash drive from Dana's room. Dana? Whoa. Where's Dana's room? You can't get out now, Dana. So tell me the truth or rot in there. Uh. What's Welcome up? Welcome to the real drama queens of Blackwell. Juliet. Hey, Juliet. Is everything cool? Oh, yes, Max. I've locked Dana in the room because we're cool. What'd she do? What did she do? What you didn't she ridiculous. do? Dana's been sexting with my boyfriend. Oh, Ouch. shit. How did you find out? Uh, why do you care? Why are you even asking me? You never talk. You Just zone out with your screen. camera. That's why I'm talking to you now. What's my last name? Oh, shit. Um, Watson. Juliet Watson. Duh. I'm flattered. I didn't even think you knew my name at all. Look at that. Of course I'm a I goddamn do. G. Just because I don't talk a lot doesn't mean I don't care. So, how did you find out about them? According to Victoria, Dana would do anything to date a quarterback. According to Victoria? Huh. She saw the sext. And Zachary won't answer his phone. Once Dana admits it, she can go. Straight to hell. Max, I swear I didn't do anything, but I bet Victoria did. I know the proof is in her room. 
Well, where the hell is Victoria's room? What? We'll bang for Jesus. That's great. I go to school with a bunch of whores. This is the Ouch. Well, at least she puts her photographs out there. Unlike me. Whoa, I had no idea Victoria's parents owned the Chase space. Color me impressed. They should call this series aloof. Cold and soulless. Kinda like Victoria. I guess I'll it's been on a laptop, right? This is the email I need to show Juliet. Now I have to print this fast and get the hell out of here. Well, how the hell do you print? Print email? Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Go over, grab this. This better convince Juliet that Dana is innocent. And I'll be on my way. Hey, Juliet. Look at this, you dumb bitch. Juliet, read this. Of course. I'm an asshole. I'm sorry, Dana. You are. And I hope so. You really think I'd mess around with Zachary? No. But I get stupid jealous. I owe you dinner. Still love me? And you do my laundry. Oh, Thanks, shit. You're like the she black drives a hard job. bargain. Now let's see what Zach has to say about Victoria. You set me free. <laughs> Thank you. Warren's flash drive is on my desk. Almost uh, I'm guessing this Get desk. Get the flash drive and then I'll go see Warren. Uh, I don't see, uh, maybe this desk? Yes. Must protect my precious so Max never has to chase it down again. That was pretty goddamn creepy of him. Hey, Dana. Seriously, thanks again. I can't believe Juliet locked me in my own room. Real mature. Um, Victoria is not nice. Victoria is not nice. I don't get it. She has everything. And to pull that prank on a friend? Just because they're in the Vortex Club doesn't mean they're BFFs. I'm in it, and Victoria creeps me out. Max, you're smart to be a loner here. Though, Warren obviously likes hanging with you. He's a good guy. He's a good guy. I haven't really met him the yet, but me. he's a good guy. You saw the files in his flash drive. Tons of crazy shit. Films I've never even heard of. And in a special folder called Max. Yeah, okay. I gotcha. Go ahead and leave you alone. <laughs> Bye. Like, oh, wait, I got another text from someone. From mom. But honestly, that says, Here, sauce charge, and anyone no, call me ASAP. What? How dare he? Telling fibs. I should bring a gun to school and shoot the goddamn shoot Nathan Prescott. Fuck Whoa. this shit. Ow. You all right, guy? Damn. Get lost, hipster. I'm not doing any interviews. What an ass. You okay, Alyssa? Ouch, poor Alyssa. That'll leave a bruise. Well, you better comfort her. You can comfort Victoria, but not her. Okay. Makes sense. Victoria, by the way, thanks, but we're not friends. Oh, great. It's just real nice. Alright, um. I'm guessing that he would be in. No, he's in the parking lot. I guess that'd be. So don't think I'm blind. I see everything here at Blackwell. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, and leave me alone. Oh, uh, we got some police brutality. You can't fool me. 
I know everything about this school. I cover the waterfront. So you better figure out what side you're on. Please, leave me alone. Does it look like I did the right thing, though. No. I got the picture. The show. Thanks for nothing, Max. Hey, you better shut the hell up. Man, I should have stepped in between Kate and David. That asshole was so over the line. Nope. Can't do it. I think I did the right thing. If I was to intervene, he'd probably beat me with a baton. I should have done something. That guy was an asshole. Shut up. Max, get your ass over here. What's what up? up? Max? How are you? Here's your flash. Thanks. No problem. Check out my new wheels. Cool. Look pretty Very fucking terrible. 1978 to be exact. Now we can go to the drive-in. There's one in Newburgh just 60 miles away. You're in the wrong time, Warren. But then so am I. You okay? It's been one strange fucking day. I bet. I heard Victoria got a face full of paint. I'd pay money to see a photo of that. <laughs> really? I wish I would have known. You probably could have raised a Kickstarter fund just for that one image of her covered in paint. Had I known that. Anyway, Victoria took down my photo, so that drama ended well. So, did you get a chance to check out the movie booty on my flash drive? The movie booty? No, I've been way too busy with class and life. Damn, girl, you had it like a year. Or a week. I did browse through all the titles, Drama Queen. Ha ha. Make sure you watch Cannibal Holocaust. Seen it. Seen it. I was more disturbed by all those emo vampire movies in there. Can a sensitive high school boy love sensitive vampires too? So you're sensitive. Ouch, that sounds awful the way you say it. Um, how so? How so? <clears throat> sensitive usually means won't be having sex with you. Oh, God. Whoa. You need a sensitive woman to kick your ass. If I was lucky. Speaking of hip and fast, we should cruise out in my car to an actual movie this week. But you seem distracted. I need to talk to somebody, just to get it out of my system. Dr. Warren Graham is in the house. I won't even prescribe you any meds. Tell me everything. For reals, Warren, this is between you and me, not social media. Don't insult me. Max, go on. I had this incredibly bizarro experience in Mr. Jefferson's class today. I mean, life-changing. Have you ever had a dream so real it was like a movie? Max Caulfield, right? You're one of the no, Jefferson's nice photo copies. I'm one of his students. What the fuck ever? I know you like to take pictures, especially when you're hiding out in the bathrooms. You best tell me what you told the principal now. Bitch. Answer what me, bitch. What are you talking about? I know you're new here, but don't even play stupid with me. I'm not new. I've lived here for years. Then you should know the Prescotts own this shithole. Then you don't have to worry about me. Worry about yourself. Do not analyze me! I pay people for that. Worry about yourself, Max Caulfield. I could call the police. Do it! The Prescotts own the pigs here. Get away from her, dude! He just headbutted him. <laughs> Leave him alone! It's the 21st century, that's not a whoa. Do. Not my parents, not the principal, or that whore right in the bathroom! <gasps> Max? Chloe? No way. You again. Go! Go! Oh, I got this! What in the hell is going on? You can't just leave them. Get this out of there now! Whoa. Don't even try to run! Nobody! Yes, Nobody! 
That cop better do something. Man, Nathan Prescott is messed up and dangerous. This day never ends. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. What's up with these uh, those all-seeing eyes everywhere? Face. At least pretend you're glad. There's one in the bathroom. I am seriously. There's glad one right there. Oh, and thanks, Chloe. It makes perfect sense I'd see you today. Yes, it's been that kind of day. So what did that freak want with you? Hopefully nothing after today. So, how do you know Nathan? He's just another Arcadia asshole. Your friend really took a beat down for you. Warren? Yeah, I owe him big time. You're not the only one in debt. And you're already causing trouble. I thought it would be quiet here. Feels so weird to be back. So I guess Seattle sucked hard? I guess. It was cool, but I felt kind of lonely, out of my league. I would think you'd fit right in with the art school hipsters. Right. You look like the cover of hipstergirl.com. At least you're still a smartass. That's why I'm here. Please, girl. You came back for Blackwell Academy. Only for Mark Jefferson. He was a pretty famous photographer in the 90s. I've always loved his work. Those that can't do, teach. I'm glad you found a good reason to come back. Don't you think I'm happy to see you? No. You were happy to wait five years without a call or even a text. I'm sorry. I know things were tough on you when I left. How do you know? You weren't even here. I didn't order my parents to move specifically to fuck you over, Chloe. You've been at Blackwell for almost a month without letting me know. Enough said. I just wanted to settle in first and not be such a shy, cliche geek. I totally would have contacted you. But you don't use these sad excuses on Mr. Jefferson. Don't use them on me, Max. What an ass. Broken? Oh, man, are you serial? Wow, haven't heard that one in a while. Not everything changes. Except my camera has officially taken a shit. <laughs> my step douche has a boatload of tools. Maybe you can fix it in my place. I need very specific tiny tools. Bird alert. My stepdad has a fully stocked garage. And he actually is a tiny tool. Welcome home, Max. That was a little crazy. Come on in, don't be shy. The house still looks nice. Home, shit, home. My room looks a bit different than the last time you saw it. It's cool. At least we can chill out. This isn't exactly my chill-out zone. My step fear makes sure of that. Come in and close the door. Put on some music while I medicate. She's smoking the weeds. <laughs> 